It's always interesting what's going on in the brain cave. A little sneak peek. Yep, this is a BMW, and there's pieces missing from it. Why, why, why? What is going on here? Wow, we got some major fabrication <laughs> action happening. Yes. I wonder if a custom brace is going in here. Picasso. All right, we got Master Fabricator Jones here. And rather than cut the top of the panel, he's gonna separate the panels. He's gonna do it right. I'm just gonna, there's little, 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 little MIG welds here. We're just gonna tuck, knock those out too. And then this whole panel just come right up nice in one piece. Knock the, knock the MIG welds out and pull yep. the panel up. That's nice. what you get when you go custom. This is, this is, this is the way it should be. Like, why would you cut that? That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, so we removed the spot welds from the top here, as you can see. Uh, step one, and, uh, We'll continue moving forward. Okay, next step is to use the cutting wheel to separate where the panel connects to the chassis frame and draw a line. There we go. Sweet. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So you're drilling in on the top. Yeah, just uh, so we're gonna t we're gonna go against the welds. The right. welds that welds through, and then we drill through the first panel. So we're gonna be the same where the welds are. We're gonna we'll glue it all together. So that's the top of the carrier top bolt of the carrier bolt. front subframe yeah. mount. Yep. Yeah. So the the piece that we're gonna put in. It's going to go like that. And right. It's going to be connected just like that. Sweet. So we're going to be all the way through. Welded right on top. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, the front drive the front driver side. You see, there's a notch cut in that panel. Drop the light here for a second. Just slide this in like this. Give you a bit of a concept of what it's going to look like. We're going to come right off the top of that, um, that subframe mount, directly welded right to it. Then we're going to integrate it back into that corner, and then we're going to tuck that all underneath the flap. And we see that little marker there. That little marker sort of that's where we're going to have the bolt in, uh, all triangulated. You can see there's a there's a gully there, so we'll get a triangle in there, and it'll be super super strong and tacked all together, one uh, one monocoque unit. Very exciting. Tapping in the threads for the removable subframe brace. This is ridiculous, man. Okay, here's where the magic is. You can see this custom bracket that was built that sits on top of the carrier bolt for the front subframe with the panel removed. It follows up. It sits on top of a panel underneath of it and then jets out into the floor in the rear where you can see two bolt holes where the removable brace will go. So this in itself, welding this in place is gonna be enough to support the subframe and then the removable brace is gonna give it that much more strength. Over here on the passenger side, same thing, all set up, ready to be welded in, and this is crazy. Hey boss, what's Hi. next? I don't know. You don't know? Hot dogs. Hot dogs? Put that right in there, beautiful. 
beautiful game. <laughs> and the floor is gonna That's be perfect and the seats are gonna work. Everything's working. And that thing is not moving. The subframe is not moving. Yeah. These are not the droids there? you were looking there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. They're not the <laughs> droids you're looking for. <clears throat> cool. Very nice. Nice welds. Not really, but they're pain in the ass to weld them. <laughs> so thin. Doesn't matter. It's under the seat, under the floor. Rockstar. Okay, so this is um, a rear uh, upper subframe mount. Uh, you can see I've done a bit of work to this side here. Uh, I've got a couple of, um, I've compressed the groove here and put a notch here. And you're gonna probably wonder why, but stay tuned, you'll figure it out. Um, a little trick uh, for this, uh, to get this nice and flush, is just grind a little bit off the top, like that. And then um, just take a punch, a flat punch like that. Put in there and just tap that down and then turn it sideways to flatten it out and it'll basically stitch it nice and neatly um, like I have here uh, which is really nice and easy to lay a, a nice MIG weld bead into uh, just a little tip and just touch the just touch the welds the factory welds up a little bit in the top too. Alrighty so we just got a little test fit going on here um, for the upper rear uh, just to see so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld all the way along here uh, right across the top of the um, the, the in internal uh, mount, then across the top here as well, uh, which will line up. Will basically give us an L across the actual um, uh, internal the, the the bolt where the subframe comes in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to weld this right to the side frame here, nice and tight. And then when we put the panel back on, it'll create another. It'll it'll basically be double triangles um, and really stiffen up uh, this point. And um, of course, there's more to it, but this is just give you an idea. This is just a uh, just the layout, uh, where we're going with this. All right, we're just gonna put this extra brace in here. Just lay it in there like that, nice and neatly. Fits up against the front there. Fits it over here, nice and tight. See, there's the screw holes. Why do we tap those? Well, we'll figure that out in a bit. So you can see it's uh, tacked in up here on the side, across the T and an L across the back as well on both sides and then of course you got a couple of center pieces here just to tack it in place well everything's uh, back together things hidden underneath there you can see a couple of little screw holes peeking out little slots cut for them we'll see what that turns into and the last step is to shoot some paint and then move on to the next step in our three-step process which is the custom rear strut bar so take a peek at this and be sure to watch the next video so thank you for watching and a special thank you goes to kirk jones and no-brainer racing for all the custom work